welcome to my channel my name is Wolo I want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel and have seen my videos this week has been a very busy week for me I've had back-to-back -back deadlines and um, it's been hectic and I have received so many emails which thankfully I have been able to respond to most of them this weekend for those who have not responded to your emails please still exercise patience I will respond to them and um, I also want to say that some of the emails I feel I have treated them in the video. So before you, you know, um, try to send an email, please check the videos. Some of them I have discussed about them. So it will be easier for you to just follow the instructions on the videos and you are good to go instead of sending emails and, you know. And I also want to crave your indulgence again because I, like I mentioned in one of my videos, I am in a period where I am having so much deadlines and um, responding to emails might be tough, but I usually respond even if it takes like five days or six days, um, it might be tough. And another thing I want you to know is, if you're sending an email, just put it at the back of your mind that you might be the 1,000th person who has sent an email. So if you don't receive a quick response, um, just know that you are number 1,000 because it's it's as much as that. So that being said, I will be talking about the Alberta um, Immigrant Nominee Program. And uh, recently, Alberta has been like giving so much nominations, uh, especially for those who have... Um, created an express entry profile. So I'm going to go into details of what it entails so that people who have relatives in Alberta, and when I mean relatives, it's just your direct sibling or a parent. There is no option for cousins. So if you have a direct sibling in Alberta, and if you have a parent in Alberta, then you can um, create an express entry profile and indicate that in your express entry profile and um, um, you're likely going to get a notification of interest to apply. So I'm going to go into details of what it entails. And um, the Alberta Immigrant Nominee Program has three active streams. One of them is the Alberta Occupation... Um, okay, one of them is the Alberta Opportunity Stream. And the second is the Alberta Express Entry Stream. And then the third one is the Alberta Farming um, Entrepreneur Stream. I don't know if I'm calling it right, but I know it's farming. It has to do with farming. And it's for people who have um, high net worth of um, about $500,000. So I'm not going to talk about that because I know that not everybody has about $500,000 to invest in Alberta. So I'll start with the opportunity stream. The opportunity stream is for persons who are already in Canada, living in Alberta and have a valid work permit. And also for people who must have graduated and have a postgraduate work permit. So there are two criteria for people who have postgraduate work permits under the Alberta opportunity stream. If you have a postgraduate work permit and you are living and working in Alberta, there are two factors you need to know before you um, indicate your interest. And one of them is that you must be in an occupation that matches your degree. So let's say you graduated from um, any of the universities in Alberta and you studied accounting. It means whatever you're doing your occupation has to be in accounting so if you're living and working in alberta you have a valid work permit you, your occupation must match your degree that's one factor then the second factor is your occupation must not be in an occupation that is considered as high income or low income occupation or it should also not be in an occupation that is listed um, in the list of ineligible occupations in Alberta. So that is for the Alberta Opportunity Stream. It's for those who are already in Canada, who are living in Alberta and working in Alberta and people who have valid work permits. The second opportunity which I want to dwell on, which I believe will be beneficial to people who are outside of Canada, is the Alberta Express Entry Stream. And the Alberta Express Entry Stream is for persons who um, have the following factors. 
Number one, you can demonstrate a strong tie to Alberta. That is if you have a relative, a parent, a brother or a sister. And then number two, if your occupation is in an occupation that can support Alberta's economic um, development and diversification. So candidates who are contacted directly are candidates who have an active express entry profile, um, have an interest in immigrating to Alberta. That means on your express entry profile, you have to indicate your province of choice as Alberta. And then thirdly, you need to have, you need to be in an occupation that will support the um, Alberta government's initiative on economic development and diversification. Then the fourth factor is you need to have a comprehensive ranking score of 300. So with the Express, with the Alberta Express entry stream, there are um, occupations that will make you likely not get a notification of interest from the Alberta government. And that is if your occupation falls into one of the occupations that is considered as um, ineligible occupations in Alberta. And then there is also a government list of occupations that even if you indicate that your knock code is in those occupations, you will not be considered. So I'll be leaving a list of this information at the end of this video so that you can see the list of occupations that are not eligible. So even if you have a relative in Alberta, um, the relative is your sister or your brother, and let's say you are a petroleum engineer, um, and you indicate Alberta, you will not get a an invite. You will not get an invite from the Alberta government. So that's that's one thing you should also note. Or if your occupation is in the list of high wage or low wage occupations in Alberta, that means you will not get a notification of interest from the Alberta government. So these are the factors you also need to know because it doesn't matter if you have a sibling or a parent in Alberta. As long as your occupation is in one of those lists, you are not likely to get um, a notification of interest from the Alberta government. Another factor that um, might likely decrease your chances of getting a notification of interest from the Alberta government is if your occupation is amongst the list of occupations that has a high volume of submission. So if, for instance, you're a cook and um, you are based outside of Canada and you have a sister in Alberta, um because there is a lot of people who are applying under that category you are you are likely it's going to likely decrease your chances of getting um a notification of interest from the government of alberta so those are the things you need to consider if you are an administrative assistant there are so many administrative assistants all over the world so if even if you are an administrative assistant and you have a sibling a direct sibling in alberta it's likely going to decrease your chances of getting notification of interest because there are so many people who are applying under that particular occupation. So um, these are the things that um, decreases people's chances of getting a notification of interest from the Alberta government. Finally, I'll be talking about occupations that support Alberta's government economic development and diversification. And these occupations are in healthcare, uh, that's healthcare innovations, healthcare technology, and um, the bio sector, cross sectoral investments, and clean energy. So, if you have occupations in these areas, health innovation or health technology, where you you know they are doing lots of um, technical development in the healthcare sector. If you have a career in uh, clean energy, when I talk about clean energy, I mean advanced hydrocarbon, clean technology, and environmental innovation. So if your occupation is in sustainable agriculture and forest production, food innovation, ecosystem and biodiversity, biological greenhouse gas uh, management. If your occupation is in these areas, there is um, a likelihood of getting a notification of interest from the Alberta government. So I'll be leaving details of this information on the description box of this video. And um, I hope anybody who needs it can take advantage of this information. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.